Hello, in this video, I'll be showing off a uh, technique that I call the one appointment final impression in jar relation records. Uh, no, this is gonna be part one because that patient's actually in progress, but let's take a look at what it's all about. I start off with these thermoplastic trays. These trays are from Avident, but I'm sure there are other trays that are on the market that also do the same thing. You put those trays into a hot water bath like this one, and that gets them nice and soft for you. And then I take those to the patient's mouth and you really want the patients to move their tissues to mold those trays. You wanna almost create a custom tray from that stock thermoplastic tray. So you can see I'm really having the patients move their lips forward almost into a pucker on both the maxillary and mandibular arches. Then you'll need to create a spacer or a tissue stop for the maxillary. I created three tissue stops like this. This is using uh, Defend, which is a jar relation registration material like Regisil or Blue Moose. And on the mandibular, the patient had such a resorbed ridge that I really had to do just one big area, just almost like a compound impression. And then it's border molding time. So this is me border molding it with 3M's PVS. Um, you can see on the max mandibular arch, it's almost again like a wash impression just because of how resorbed everything was. And then the final impression comes next on the maxillary, just like your traditional final impression and on the mandibular. Again, it's almost like a wash there uh, over the wash that we had done previously. I then proceed by removing the handles on the trays and cutting off the excess impression material that came on around the impression. And then I'll add some wax for the wax rim. And again, you could do that um, in that same appointment so that you would save the patient having to come again for a specific jar relation appointment. Now, sometimes patients need to have that trimmed more. And if the patient has such a small vertical dimension, you might not be able to get this done with this tray, but for most patients, this works out pretty well. You can see here, this is me doing the jar relation record. I marked my midline and canine lines and you can pick your teeth. Just everything you usually do in your normal jar relation record appointment. Um, and then from that point on, you can have that scanned or sent out to your lab or whatever you feel comfortable with, but you would have saved yourself at least and the patient um, two appointments. Um, so uh, I hope that was helpful and um, I'd like to give a special thanks to Dr. David Botsko who inspired this specific technique. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.